Hey yo guys, what is up? I am back with another video and I'm gonna be doing the top five best purchases I possibly ever made. That includes like businesses, vehicles, just all in out, all in out, every purchase I made. So the first purchase that this is gonna to go to, number one, is the buzzard. Cause literally all you have to do is go to your CEO thing in the interaction menu vehicles and then buzzard for free literally spawns right next to you and the best part about it is you get homing launcher missiles which is kind of obvious but like it's they're they're pretty accurate but like not as accurate you know as like good missiles but uh, it's all in out a really good purchase i've probably never made it is a million seven hundred fifty thousand dollars located on the warstock website uh it's po it's just possibly one of the best helicopters are in the game it's very fast it's light um you can also store it in your hangar if you got one um it's really it's a really good idea i i think it is the best purchase i've probably ever made so number four goes to the ceo tower and the ceo tower is probably another good purchase and really you kind of have to have it to be able to get the buzzard to instantly spawn next to you but then again, the buzzer is still a good purchase. But the CEO Tower is a really nice um, addition to your collection of, like, you know, businesses and stuff. Plus, it's basically it's kind of like the starter of, like, you kind of have to have it to buy the special vehicle, like, special warehouses. And all you can do is special vehicle work, which gives you the trade prices of some vehicles that you really want. I did, I did all of them, actually, but, like, not most of them. So, one I like most is, like, you know, there's, you know, vehicle cargo and special cargo. It, it gives you access to those things. <clears throat> and well, I, I really love it. I just, I love that. So, and also another thing is, you can go to, she, you can go to this lady over here. Every time I get on, every time I source a vehicle, I always go over here, Pegasus Concierge, and I request a uh, buzzer helicopter. About your helicopter, and you can just you can request a personal vehicle. You can get snacks for free, which I need to get some. But yeah, it's it's really nice. You can get snacks for free. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. I'm trying to buy a ton of them. I didn't even do that. And obviously, you can buzz people out. And obviously, just, I don't have the living quarters, but you can buy living quarters and spawn here, which I'm thinking about doing soon. But uh, yeah. And also, you you exit out here. You can do the same thing. Exit via vehicle. Uh, but you can't actually can't do personal vehicle. Also, you can buy a uh, <clears throat> garage with it, which it's a million dollars for ten for ten. Like it doesn't you buy it. You have to buy extra for the floors. Like you might as well just buy a ten car garage for like two hundred thousand dollars. It makes no sense to buy a garage here. That's one thing I do not recommend. So next on to number three. So number three, so the another good purchase is the bunker. I think it's a good purchase, and it, the one I got was by the military base, because you know I and your boy is not going to get something by Polito Bay. The only thing he did was the facility, which I don't really use. So um, the bunker I bought it. The best probably I wouldn't say best location, but the one I got was the one down here at Lago Zancudo. Which I think is a perfect okay spot because you know no one's really there, and also a MOC. These are supposed to be on the list, but like I'm gonna add this with it: the MOC and the bunker. MOC is a really good purchase, but it's like a million dollars. But you know your boy is hustling. Your boy was hustling back then. Well, mostly because I, no, um, well, I was hustling. Yeah, the MOC wasn't really. It wasn't nothing. Well, if you want to spend two, well, almost three million dollars and <clears throat> buy a mod shop with it be my guess but i did i got the mod shop with it too it's boring i mean once you use it you're like oh my god it's awesome and you don't even want anymore so another thing with a bunker there is you can buy caddies extra which i don't recommend or well, if you want to get around faster uh there is research which i don't really pay attention to i mostly pay attention to stock which i have like one hundred forty thousand dollars right now <clears throat> which I'm, I'm, I might sell later on but like mostly what I do I I don't recommend it but like uh, buying supplies don't think it, believe me well I thought I always thought it was stupid but seriously it, it's not stupid like 
well, you might even be thinking, oh, probably because you have millions of dollars. Maybe it's, it might be easier. <clears throat> but still, though, yeah, I understand. I do have a lot of money. I mean, it is kind of, you might think, yeah. Buying supplies, yeah. Psh, yeah, it's a lot of money. But, mm, I learned this from a guy named The Professional. He is another PS4 player. He's, a, he's pretty good. He has, like, tons of money. He recommends it, and I really like that, and I follow everything he does. Um... Yeah, so it's a, it's a really good idea. You want to consider doing it? You can. Mm, it's not. It's nothing bad. But yeah. Number two. I mean, I'm sorry. So number three, we have the nightclub, which I, I oh my god, I recommend. Well, I don't recommend you buying it until you have like basically all of the um businesses. That's really the only time I recommend getting it, which I do on basically, yeah, literally all the businesses. So I have this. And the nightclub is basically, a, it's a passive business. So what happens is, if you like have the supplies up in every single business, it actually, over time, it collects goods from the, um, what's it called? From all your businesses. And it, like, it literally collects it. But like, it takes some time, but like, it does, it collects it and it, puts money into it like and also there's another thing called business battles it boosts it like you don't have to do them but like i do them like basically every time and it boosts them like puts even more money into it but keep in mind though it's a passive business so you can't like source goods or anything like uh and there's also a wall safe the popularity thing it's it's no point it's hard to keep up but like a thing I recommend costs a lot of money, but like go to Resident DJ, and you gotta just keep rebooking these two DJ. Well, you don't have the these two, but like just keep rebooking DJs. Like has to be you have to have at least two of them. Keep rebooking, booking them over and over again. But if you do it in this, it will show like up here. It will show like a cutscene. Like uh, but a faster way to do that is like also also it like does like half a bar. But, like also I recommend doing it in the basement. So like it doesn't go through that cutscene, but yeah, right now it's 81 grand. So yeah. Um. Also, it'll go by faster if you hire like different people, but like I don't really care. I don't recommend about that. But yeah, my basement. Um. <clears throat> this also, you can purchase extra space for your vehicles, but I, don't, I didn't really per care about that. It also comes stock with at least one place to put your vehicles, but yeah. Mmm. God. And then yeah, it's at eighty one grand right now. And eighty one times like one, two, three, four that's like that's the highest amount you can earn or you can own if you have just like the if you didn't upgrade the storage at all. But that's like around two hundred and seventy five thousand or something there. Uh, maybe more. So what I had to I didn't buy the mule because I didn't really care. I only bought the pounder because I thought it was a cool truck. Um you can perk the speedo comes stock. Also, you can uh, you can get armor plating and crap on. The Speedo is really the stock vehicle you'll use unless you have like a super big steel, and you'll have to buy the Pounder for that. But um, the Pounder's a really dirty name, but let's not talk about that. A B1, I believe. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, never mind. But uh, yeah, I I really do suggest the nightclub. I think it was a really good purchase. But, like, only buy it if you have, like, all the businesses. But, yeah, nightclub, really good purchase. So, the next thing I recommend buying is the criminal. I don't recommend, but, like, if you want to pay 20 bucks, I just got the normal version. But, like, the criminal enterprise starter pack is a really good option. What it gives you is it gives you the Maze Bank West exclusive office, uh, executive office, the Polito Forest bunker. Which I don't like the Plato one, but like, if you want to get it, you can get Great Shaporo Clubhouse. You get the Snore Desert Counterfash, Counterfeit Cash Factory. Uh, you get the. This is actually this is the LSIA Garage right next to your bunk. Uh, what do you call it? Nightclub. Just I was gonna recommend that. Well, I already did right now. And then you get San v Vitas Vitas. I don't know how to say it, but like Street Garage. It's a two. It's a two car garage, and it's an apartment. Yeah, you get you get one of my favorite vehicles is either the Viper or the Grotti Turismo, and this is not the one door you get. It's like actually a two door version. You get the Vortex, you get the Invertero Coquette Classic or Corvette. 
you get the Frogger, you get the Western Zombie tri uh, Chopper, you get the Omnis. It's a, it's a okay, fast car. And that's how it Huntley. And then you get the Compact Rifle, you get the Compact Grenade Launcher, and the Marksman Rifle. <clears throat> the outfits, you get all the racing suits, you get all the biker racing suits, all the stuntman racing suits, and then you get all of the import export outfits. Yeah, I already have all I have all of them I believe. Gun show is probably one of my favorites. Oh wait, no, I don't own them. But yeah, they come free for you. Uh and then tattoo, you get free tattoos. I'm not uh you get a fuck ton of them. I'm not going over all of them, I don't really feel like it. But <clears throat> yeah. I believe it looks like all of them, but yeah, I really, I really do recommend buying it, cause that's that's how I got a few business of mine too. <clears throat> but yeah, on to number one, and number one, the one I really recommend buying is the vehicle warehouse. And I can prove to you how much I made off it. Actually, I don't think it shows it over here. It does it at the uh, uh what do you call it? <sighs> I'm stupid CEO tower and the only way to buy this is the CEO tower but you can see in the video I also included I I went on the the vehicle warehouse thing it'll show how much I made but like I made a lot from this currently I don't have any vehicles but I made a fuck ton of money from it and like if you sell four top range cars four hundred thousand dollars and I, I don't think I don't know is if anybody's stupid enough but like don't don't buy don't do like the first option do the special dealer unless you really think you're gonna die I just recommend doing the special dealer plus you can plus you can customize it and it's just it's so much better I really recommend doing oh. that it, it's probably one of the best things I've ever purchased and I hope I hope like I really hope you guys took this like for a salt a grain of salt I really hope you guys maybe look forward to purchasing this stuff. I really think it's a good purchase. Like, to be honest. So, if you want to purchase anything, this is just a video just telling you guys what I think's best. If you don't think it's best, comment down below. Do anything you want. Just This is what I recommend. I love, these are probably the best purchases I've ever made. I don't think, I don't really regret them. Nor do I regret this the Lamborghini Countach like who doesn't want this like tell me how beautiful that sounds watch this it's just so good like you you know and then me having two million dollars <throat> I think I'm rich hell nah I did the bodkin problem glitch now you th now I got exposed all right though have a good day guys and peace out